What's up, witches? It's Halloween! And, also, time for another toy review. Now, these are some moldy oldies that I've had for about a decade or so, but because it's in the season, I am going to review them. I have a couple of the pink label slash grocery store uh, Barbies that were witches that came out just for around Halloween. And the first one was in 2000, and her name is Enchanted Halloween. So we have here uh, a beautiful blonde, but she has some lovely orange streaks in her hair. This was not done with marker. I did not root this. This is exactly how she came. You can see that her hair is parted off a little bit over, so you have to like sweep her hair back away from her face. She has a really nice face, beautiful green eyes, and little orange earrings. She also is supposed to have a uh, ring in her hand. I took that out because I was changing clothing and put this outfit on a different doll. So her dress is a simple black one with uh, sheer sleeves that are tattered at the end with orange uh, paint that is speckled and glittery. And then it comes down to a little tear layer skirt of the sheer black, the orange, and the yellow, kind of like candy corn or flames. And then she has some adorable little ankle boots. She comes with a hat that has an orange brim, which is very nice, and it keeps its form very well. It's also a little bit bigger in the back, so that way it has a bit more balance when you pull it back onto her head. She came with a trick-or-treat bag. Now this was a cardboard trick-or-treat bag and unfortunately after being many years, actually I used to keep it in the box but then I took it out and I was having it be displayed and then my toddler got a hold of it and tried to chew on it and tore off the handles. So yeah. So anyway, uh, I also decided to name her Autumn because she just has a very autumn appeal to her. In 2002, there was Halloween Glow Barbie, and I named her Lavender because she has very beautiful moon white hair, but she has violet eyes, or soft lavender eyes, with lavender earrings and a ring, and this necklace uh, was not originally hers. I only added that on. It comes from a little keychain bear. Anyway. Her dress has this beautiful bodice piece that laces up and a long skirt with beautiful swirly details. It looks like magic. And even though these are not the uh, actual shoes that came with her, because uh, I also was dressing her, they are the exact same style, just hers were black. But with white, you can actually see the details better. It has a very nice uh, wider base to the heel and it has little uh, lace-up eyelets in the front. It's, uh, it's a very cute, sturdy shoe, but hers just came in black. And I just, I have those misplaced at the moment. Halloween Glow, her hair's a little bit fluffy. Her hair doesn't glow, but she came with a little sh um, clip-on attachable strand of glowing hair for the girl to wear who buys this. Now, her hat is not black. It's actually dark purple with glitter in the uh, the mold. I don't know if you can really tell with this, but it is. Voila! And sometimes it doesn't really like to stay on her head too well because she's got like a little bit thicker hair. But her trick-or-treat bag, they got smart and they made one out of rubber, which is better because not only can she actually hold it, with how her arms are. See, she can hold it. But it actually is detailed enough to look like it has like a bulge in it. So it looks like it's actually got treats in it. And it has a really pretty little haunted house picture on there. Adorable! Um, uh, in 2003, I got Halloween Fortune, and she was uh, the gypsy fortune teller one. Now, I turned that doll, uh, that was one of my customs, uh, 
back like last month or so. She is kind of an odd creation. So I don't really have her anymore. And then um, she had this little purple top. I put that on a, a spare Jasmine doll that I found because she had purple pants on. And I ended up uh, pretty much kind of giving that doll away to this little girl because it was modeling some jewelry while I was working at the Renaissance Fair. And so she bought the jewelry and wanted the doll and I told her it was okay. So I still have the skirt and, you know, the headband, uh, but I don't have the bodice top and also with the doll being customized as it is, I basically kind of don't have her anymore. She's kind of one that I'm looking for. Um, and then in 2005, I got Halloween Star Barbie. And this one has a different uh, shape uh, and mold to her face. You'll notice with uh, these two, they have your standard Barbie face, but her head is a little bit bigger. Her facial details are different. So this, is a, this was a newer uh, look. Also, her hair is much thinner. There's hardly any volume. It feels very light. And um, she has these beautiful pale blue eyes, some light purple mascara and lips. She's got a choker on with a star. Her outfit actually consists of three parts. She's not in a dress. She's actually wearing pants. And her top is a little bodice with long sleeves of this shimmery purple and aqua uh, material with frayed sleeves. And she has a little sash of the same material and color that matches. And her pants are this marble of uh, blue and purple and gray, kind of like clouds on a cloudy day. And I decided I was going to name her Celeste because, you know, Halloween star. Her hat is velvet. It's cloth. Which is nice because this hat fits better on most of the other dolls. Um, since her head is a little different, this hat also, it doesn't want to stay on even though she has very thinner hair. And then when it comes to this one, it just doesn't match because she's not wearing any orange. Uh, she didn't come with any accessories, but I mean, if you can consider this sash an accessory. And then she has on little, little black boots. Unfortunately, none of these dolls came with brooms. That would have been a nice little touch to have. And I only have three of these witch Barbies. Um, I actually, I remember picking up, uh, I think these two, I think I got at Homeland Grocery Store, the Halloween Fortune, which was the Gypsy, uh, that was definitely a Target exclusive, and then with um, Enchanted Star, um, or Halloween Star, I think she was just a regular pink label, but um, this was kind of before they really had that system of pink label, black label, gold label, platinum. So you pretty much found them only at either specifically a Target or at a grocery store. They were like on a kiosk off to the side kind of thing. You didn't really see these at Walmart or wherever. And there are plenty more of the witch Barbies I would love to get a hold of. Uh, well, I mean, not witch Barbies, Halloween Barbies, because usually she's either a witch or she's dressed like a cat girl. I got the one for 2014, and I'm not really impressed with her at all because um, they, even though they streaked her hair orange like Enchanted Halloween, and they put little cat ears on her, they kind of gave her that old style of hands, but they or they come out like this. So she's got stiff arms that are outstretched, knees that won't bend, and just this, you know cute little dress, but uh, I'm keeping her in the box because it's just like, I feel that she's not really worth my time. So, anyway, I figure I would give you guys a, a cute little uh, Barbie witch toy review because in the spirit of All Hallows Eve, I'm feeling witchy.